Hello guys and welcome to this new grease pencil tutorial. This is the long version of a short video I did about the possibility to animate frame per frame in a rig that was already created and animated. So you see that this rig is animated using a rig and also we have some frame per frame animation especially in the head and this movement lines that you can see also when he's going up and down. This is the long version because some people maybe find it hard to follow a short video so in this one we will go slowly and explain how it works let's go to frame one let's enable overlays again and you see we have this character here with its rig and what we need to do first is to duplicate it but duplicate it linked using not shift d as we are used to do but alt d this way it is actually the same object we just see it twice any change that you do in one of these objects we reflect on the other object any stroke you add any weight paint you do it will be reflected in the other object so now we have this new linked object out of the way but if you animate it is still animated using the armature and since it is far from the armature it's really a weird animation so what we need to do while selecting this object we go to the modifiers panel and delete the armature modifier and then we still have the parenting because the whole object is parented to the armature parameter so alt p and clear parent now the object stays in place and is not affected by the armature now we split the viewport so we go to the corner here when we see the plus sign we drag and in one side we keep the animated version maybe this one and the other side we hit one to go out of the camera and focus on our new object now we can go to draw mode while selecting this guy here we have the head selected here and we have some grease pencil frames here let's go here and add another frame and before i start to draw i need to activate the weighted button here this way when i draw a stroke weight is added to it but i need also to select a vertex group and there is a cool trick that we can do is to drag this panel here the vertex groups this is something i discovered only recently so you put it here and you have vertex groups and layers closed together and here you can select the head vertex group and the head layer of course and we can start drawing so this is it this is our new frame let's try to animate it yes it works and what's beautiful about this is that you can also draw in the other one in this one here i think if you select the other stroke here yes you can't draw on the other stroke here you think that you drew on it but you actually drew on this one that's why you see that it's not reflected here if you zoom out you see this is the one for this one we actually drew on this one so what you need to do let's do Control z is to go back to object mode either from the viewport or by hitting this pencil here and then while this one is selected you go again to draw mode and you can draw on this one a mustache or whatever and see it is reflected in the other one of course it's harder here when it is animated to draw on it that's why we created this guy in the first place but it may have its uses and of course also not only draw mode can work for this but weight paint and edit mode too you can move oh again it's this one that is selected so we go again to object mode and select this guy again to edit mode and here we can select the mouth for example l to select everything and you can move it around so i guess this is it and of course this is not a rigging tutorial if you want to learn rigging in blender there is a playlist on my channel in which you can learn rigging step by step even if you are a beginner thank you for watching support me on gumroad if you like the free content on this channel and see you in another video peace